amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. <laughs> what is really on Fokio's and Fokoramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. How are you good people doing? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel. Appreciate you guys all being here. Don't forget to do everything I told you to do in the beginning of this video, all right? Consider joining Patreon where you can support the channel financially, just paying $1 a month, $12 a year to support the channel. All right. Also, make sure if you do go into Patreon to check out the tiers there. I think they may all be gone. I'm not sure, but just check them out. Make sure you read them to see what they all consist of in their entirety. You just heard that, which means somebody else just probably jumped on board. Um, but with that being said, let me go ahead and let you guys know something. Nothing. I just said it to play it off. Anyway, make sure y'all follow me in these little platforms down here that y'all see maybe at the bottom right there. I don't know. For some odd reason, I look fairly smaller than what I usually look. I need to just kind of eat a sense of eating. I think that might be a little better right there. All right. Anyway, uh, you guys probably read the title right there, and I'm not going to waste y'all time. We can get ready to go right on into it. As you can see, Donald Trump right here. This says that Donald Trump his advisors talk about VP choices as they assemble a short list in anticipation of New Hampshire's win. J.D. Vance, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, and long shot at least Stefanik make early cuts. Donald Trump says he knows who his running mate will be for 2024 presidential bid, but senior officials inside his campaign are weighing a number of potential candidates and have formed a short list to draw from. Fox Business has learned. The speculation of a running mate for former President Trump comes after Trump racked up a big win in Iowa caucuses. He poised to win the New Hampshire primary on Tuesday, barring a last minute surge by top two opponent, former South Carolina GOP Nikki Haley and Florida Governor DeSantis. A win for former President Trump in New Hampshire could lead to one or both candidates dropping out of the race. It's going to happen. And <laughs> clearing Trump's path to the GOP nomination faceoff against Joe Biden in November. People close to Trump, people close to Trump campaign say neither Haley nor DeSantis are on Trump's VP shortlist at this time. Rather, the list includes Ohio GOP Senator J.D. Vance, Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, both rising stars in the GOP and members of the party's Trump-centric MAGA wing. New York Congresswoman Elise Stefnick, coming off her takedown of top Ivy League college chiefs during a hearing over the campus anti-Semitism is also on the list, though considered a long shot one person close to the campaign told Fox Business. Trump is more familiar with both Huckabee Sanders, his former White House spokeswoman who battled the press on his behalf. Same goes for Vance, the former venture capitalist and Arthur who adopted the MAGA platform that deviates from Republican orthodoxy and trade on foreign engagement to win his seat in 2022, GOP advisor says. I doubt we're hearing anything at this time soon, said one GOP political strategist. His people are still talking about different players. Also noticeably absent from the short list is another Wall Street executive turned Arthur Trump-style populist Vivek Ramaswamy, Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy, who after losing in Iowa promptly endorsed Trump for the GOP nomination. He also jumped on board and told everybody else that, uh, you know, Nikki Haley and uh, DeSantis, he told them they should follow pursuit and do the same exact thing in which I, honestly, I agree with that. Let's see. Oh, Ramaswamy, populist policy mix most resembled Trump on the campaign trail, but he was widely criticized for his flamboyant campaigning style and at one point earned a criticism of Trump himself for suggesting the former president won't be able to survive the legal attacks, including five criminal indictments that could lead to Trump serving a prison sentence while in office. <laughs> a Trump campaign official did not return a request for comment. It is unclear if Senator Huckabee Vance are interested in the same job. Stephanie uh, definitely is. I would be honored to serve in Trump administration in the capacity, she recently said, according to Wall Street Journal. Trump has said equally nice things about Stephanie, if that's how you say it, who has clearly pushed the MAGA agenda while representing her upstate New York congressional district in 2015. GOP strategist says VP shortlist is a flux of subject to change. They also say Trump remarks about knowing VP choice made during the Fox News town hall should be taken lightly. 
Trump is a master at drawing attention to himself and creating an equivalent of millions of dollars in free publicity by making such provocative statements. He also is looking to make his nomination a fate a comp lie and depress the voter turnout for Haley and DeSantis in New Hampshire. He's a master at commanding attention, the GOP operative said. And uh, pretty much with that being said, I know that a lot of people in these streets of YouTube or political realm, a lot of people have been wondering about that, thinking like uh, we have an idea who Trump is going to choose. Some people we even went as far as saying that he might end up picking back up and looking into Ben Carson, which would be crazy. There are some people that threw out Rand Paul, which would be to me, that would be that would be phenomenal to me to go with, with uh, Rand Paul. Rand Paul has been a crazy advocate for the Fauci Ouchie clock shot. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But uh, anyway, as of right now, that's all that pretty much people are just talking about right now. It's kind of speculating who he will have as a B VP. Whenever he goes to these certain talks and everything like that, I always listen for like certain keywords, right? Like I'm looking to hear something like him saying whoever he's going to be or he might say or whoever she's going to be. But right now, I mean, yeah, Trump knows what he's doing. I'm just waiting for the slip up. He, he he's, pretty, he's pretty good about what he's doing with his words and all that. He would say whoever they're going to be, I know who they're not going to be. And he did say he noted it's not going to be Nikki Haley. So, whop, 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 whop. and I do think that DeSantis is going to be dropping out because I think that he ended up like uh, not doing two interviews with some other news networks. I think CNN was one of them or whatever. So people are thinking that those are signs that DeSantis himself might be an individual who's going to be dropping out. Honestly, I would say with the way that Trump is doing right now, and I'm just being real, I don't know in all the ins and outs of politics, but I do have some friends in high places in politics that a lot of times people kind of stay on board right now because it's one way of getting some extra funding going towards those candidates that's still trying to run for president. But if we're going to be honest, Nikki Haley and DeSantis are not going to be the primary. Donald Trump is going to be. And honestly, y'all, this is a question that people have been asking me all the time. Ty, what's going to happen if they keep on to keeping Trump from being able to campaign, being able to campaign? To that, I say... Joe Biden didn't campaign. He still stayed in the basement, was able to win. Right. So wouldn't that be awesome if neither one of them did it and Trump still turned out to be the winner? Just saying. What do y'all think is going to happen when it warms up? Y'all think we're going to be seeing the big old long parades of the trucks and everything and the flags and all? Do you think that's going to happen? You think we're going to see another repeat of you're going to see a ton of things representing Trump and people rooting for Trump? Then you're going to be seeing people not showing up for anything regarding Joe Biden. I don't know. Me, I'm going to be on the lookout for everything else that's going to be possibly distracting us away from the election, be as possible. Natural disasters, man-made disasters, I'm just being honest. Uh, you know, something's going to be tragic. It's going to be something, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm telling y'all. Things are going to heat up to keep us distracted from it. We got to make sure we keep our eye on the prize, all right? Let me know what y'all think. And don't forget, please consider joining Patreon to support the channel up there. That way, if... Uh, YouTube happened to delete my videos or try to suppress my videos, I will post them on Patreon. I'm getting in the works of getting me something that's up here that's going to show you guys, and I'm also on Rumble. Now, all that is coming. I'm working on it. I promise. I'm going to show all my different social media tags. That way, y'all can keep up with me, all right? Make sure you hit that like button before you get out of here. And again, double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel. Let somebody in you all cell phone know about this channel and have them subscribe. I know I'm going to keep on repeating this, but y'all have been doing an awesome, 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 awesome job i try to say awesome and phenomenal at the same time yeah y'all caught me on that one yeah let them know because y'all been doing the homework because i can just tell by how the numbers shot up that you guys are doing it and i really appreciate you guys doing that for me all right you guys will be the reason why this message this channel and this movement will grow you guys put in the work all right appreciate it i'm ty smith model renaissance man and i hope and pray every last one of you have food shelter and clothing and most of all i pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally physically emotionally and spiritually god bless you all through jesus What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter, but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel, because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it, keep on supporting it, and God bless you all.